Made some cool finds this weekend. Couldn't pass them up. Bought this PlayStation with a game, six controllers, three Sony controllers. One is a DualShock 2 controller. All the hookups, power cord, audio video cable. Got it for ten bucks. Okay. That was yesterday. Today, I, a woman brought in some of her son's Xbox games. I got a uh, 18 Xbox games. A two controllers, one of the originals, and one of the later uh, S type which I prefer, I like them better. I got all that for 15 bucks. The games look like new, the ones I've looked at so far. Controllers in good shape. Tight, tight control sticks, analog sticks, that's the main thing. Okay, yesterday I found two copies of Mario 3 for a dollar each. Um, I already got one in the shop for sale. But this one's got the manual and the uh, sleeve in great shape for a dollar uh, so uh, I mean how can you pass that up bought an old Jiffy Kodak 616 series 2 camera in the original box this is a camera that the comes out like bellows the front of it comes out I'll show you here in this book if I can, like this picture here it extends out I believe this is a, like a brand new camera. It don't look to have been used. I open the back of it. Everything in it, all the stickers, everything looks new. Got all the original papers. Even got this little photo flash calculator to show you how the film works. The exposure guide slides in this little thing here. Uh, that's cool. Got it for 15 bucks. And I bought me a my first butterfly knife. Now this, I uh, generally don't like butterfly knives, but this one has ninja on the blade. Anybody that follows my videos know I've got a Kawasaki ninja. And it's got like a dragon on the handles. It's real heavy metal. It's a frost cutlery made in Japan in the 1980s. Uh, surgical steel, which the newer frost has been made in like China and possibly even some of them in Pakistan uh, got it and this other knife here the switchblade for fifteen dollars as well so I mean couldn't pass those up either now this switchblade got a hidden button you uh you push on the bolster here you can work it like a regular lock blade knife but it's got a hidden button on the bolster you push this bolster and it's swivels over here and un releases it. Heavy built knife, got a belt cl uh, clip, to clip it in your pant pocket. Really cool, really cool finds I made this weekend. Can't pass, uh, can't pass these deals up. 